Company founders, Jim and Lori Estes, set the standards that guide our company today in the areas of quality, excellence, and continuous learning. Jim's willingness to take on tough, challenging projects combined with Lori's financial acumen provided those projects were delivered with no surprises to our clients. Today, those business principles influence our culture and guide our decisions as well as challenge us to continue their success. Jim and Lori tell us, in their own words, more about their vision for Estes. In the early days of the company, we started on our kitchen table. Uh, time passed and we had a little bit of success and needed more room. So we went into Lori's laundry room and uh, from our desk we had two file, two, two door file cabinets that Lori had purchased and I contributed a door for the d desktop and the door that was contributed was a mistake I had made on the job site where we were currently working on. So Then we, after a while, because we, we moved out to a place by farm and flea, mm -hmm. and it was was it was that office nine by twelve, mm -hmm. something like that. It had two people in the office at that time, not including me, because I'm still on the on the uh, two file drawers and a desk a uh, door back at mm -hmm. the house. Um, and then then we moved into the Alpine Center in Kimberley. Had hired a couple more people. I literally got squeezed ourselves out. Then Utica Ridge. The Utica Ridge Road, which was really a step a up. Step up, a huge step up for us. And once again, we had a was... conference room and a receptionist full time. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that was a big time. And then we grew up again and moved downtown Davenport. We moved to downtown Davenport in, in the early '80s, which. Everybody was laying off and moving out. That was a major recession. And uh, Jim decided, said he'd heard news of a recession, and he didn't plan on participating. And we moved downtown, hired people, and that became the next step. Our first warehouse was down in the village of East Avenue, an old house feed store. I, they don't know house feed store. I don't even know what they call it now. Cross it down now. <laughs> it was remodeled. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah, it was. Yeah, it really was. You know, they were they were relative, so the rent was cheap. You know, <laughs> and and we overpaid that. And, and it was a convenient <laughs> location for us. We literally had to guarantee everything. Uh, we had to guarantee, as Jim said, house, yeah. car. My wedding ring, me. Yeah. And what this and what this really does mean that you're not protected by bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. They can still come in and take everything else. Yeah. Because and and he not only had to sign it, I had to co sign it and agree to everything, uh, because they were also gonna take him. So but uh, that was all a part of a part of growing. I think what sets us this apart today really is the great team we have that is well educated, unbelievably hard working, and they're an advocate for the customer. They're not there to beat the customer up or take advantage of a situation. Everybody we have is very good people to work with. One of the important factors in Estes Company is the fact that we are internally financed have always been internally financed, had to have a letter of credit to satisfy the bonding company, have never used a dime of the cr line of credit, still haven't today. Um, that really has, that's been a major factor. Because of that, we've been able to pay our subs on a timely basis. Uh, we're, We've been able to make payroll. We've been able to pay union dues, uh, health insurance, all of those things. But those are two two major factors. Oh, I don't know if I really ever thought I was optimistic. You know, I always have been believing the can do, will do. Which is optimism. 
and and he. Yeah. What an opportunity. That's the. Yeah. And there's never. Tomorrow, been a, tomorrow I'm going to be better. Uh huh. And tomorrow I'm going to have so much fun. Believe in that. And uh, wakes up every morning, looks out the window, and thinks it's going to be the greatest day of his life. Uh, sometimes that's a little hard to swallow. <laughs> But mostly, but we again, we both have have never attempted something we couldn't do individually or as a team. Too late to start now, so we'll continue on. Yeah. One of the things that the company really believes in too that most people do not understand is the company's paying you to take a vacation. We want you to be refreshed and alert and being able to contribute, working. 40, 40 hours a week may not be enough, but working constantly is too much. The newest employees expected to be doing something. We try to place them in Kiwani, Rotary, Chamber of Commerce, uh, coaching a little league team, be active in your church committees. Uh, just, you can't go home and go to sleep. <laughs>